Welcome to the David Ofula YouTube channel, the official home of politics, where we cover policy, war, cataclysmic world events, and traverse territory that our peers fear to tread upon. The biggest pain in the caboose for Uru Kenyatta was this group called the judiciary. He couldn't get anything done. His victory was nullified, his CASs were declared null and void, his BBI was declared null and void, and even his candidate lost his petition at the Supreme Court. It's no wonder he refused to approve the new vehicles that Maraga requested, again he refused to appoint judges, and also reduced funding for the judiciary so cases would drag on and on and judges would be frustrated. President Ruto seems to have inherited 85% of this nightmare. His CAS has also declared unconstitutional, his housing fund was declared null and void at the High Court, he appealed to the Court of Appeal, and they have also declared the remittance of housing levy from Kenyan citizens, of course, as null and void. But the President has said the will of the people is far greater than that of the judiciary and that KRA will continue to collect this levy from Kenyans. Now, in this video, I want us to look into who the KRA will obey. Will they lean towards the judiciary's findings or the president of Kenya? And also, if the president appeals once more, thus taking the case to the Supreme Court, will her leadership, Kome and company, side with the two lower courts or will they give way for President Ruto to proceed? Those are the two major questions I want us to tackle in this video. But before we get into that, if you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform just head on over to youtube search for david Ofula, hit the subscribe button you're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature if politics is something you're passionate about this is definitely the one channel that you really really need to subscribe to now in reality the judiciary's findings outweigh any executive order from state house but kra's hands are tied they cannot defy an order from any sitting president of this republic because the president has all the instruments of power to get what he wants done he could change the non-compliant leaders at KRA. He could also disband the entire KRA altogether and set up something else. So you best believe that KRA will continue collecting the housing levy. But one thing they must also be aware of is the issue of remittance of the levy. There's going to be some rebellion amongst Kenyans. There are those who are not going to remit this levy on account that it's an illegal levy. And the only place that KRA can take these people is to the court and the court itself is the one that gave that directive so people are going to use that loophole and not just individual kenyans even companies employers who have been forced to deduct this levy from their employees are now going to have a different uh, point of view they're now going to say we're not going to deduct this because it's illegal based on the court of appeal and we're only going to deduct what is known as pay as you earn and other known taxes so it'll be interesting to see what type of repercussion the government will come up with for employers and non-compliant Kenyans. Now the second question is this, if the government were to appeal the decision of the Court of Appeal and we end up at the Supreme Court, how will the Supreme Court vote on this matter? It is likely that they will side with the lower courts. That's just my take. Those lower courts I'd like to believe were checking in discreetly to know how the top dons feel about the matter so that the judiciary can speak with a singular voice. And that's what's likely to happen. I don't even expect the government to appeal because the president has already said they'll continue to collect Anyway, that means in the president's mind the issue is settled and there's no need for any appeals. But definitely if he does appeal, I'm seeing the judiciary kind of uh, siding with the lower courts. Because you know, Martha Kome has her head on a pike, kind of. The Law Society of Kenya staged demonstrations outside of the Supreme Court saying that the president should respect Martha Kome and all the lawyers and the judges in the land. And they also advocated that Martha Kome should not go for that meeting that President Ruto called her to. And what happened, she showed up anyway. So automatically her friends in the legal field are disappointed with her. Now for the High Court to disband this housing levy, the Court of Appeal to do the same, and for Kome and company to be the ones to side with the government after the meeting with President Ruto, that will lead to total destruction of her persona within the judiciary. She'll be the boss but no one will really respect her. She has that problem. Her best hope is that the president does not appeal and goes on to collect it anyway as he has already said. 
But either way, guys, that's just my opinion. Do let me know your own comments in the comment section below. Do you think KRA will find a way around this ruling and keep collecting? And if they do, will Kenyans be compliant? And is there a law that makes them have to be compliant? I'll be looking forward to read your comments and to give you a response. Now, in the event you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Wafula, hit the subscribe button. You're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really, really need to subscribe to. All right, guys. Adios. Thank you for choosing David Wafula as your primary news platform. We put countless hours in research, recording, and editing. By showing up each and every day to watch our videos, you encourage us to generate more videos for the viewers. We are on a mission to inform, educate, and build a better tomorrow. To our thousands of followers in a world full of presidents, kings, and queens, you are the real gem. Adios.